Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks. Well, look, today at the UK newspapers, the propaganda is off the scale. The agenda of the media couldn't be more transparent. Look at all the front pages. All of them. The government wants every Briton to be tested twice a week. Two virus tests a week for all as PM passport backlash. PM pins hope on mass testing. PM tests twice a week to set us free. Ah, oh, come on. You can't be serious. Look at that headline. What was it? Vaccine passports? Freedom passports? To set us free. Then before that, it was get the jab to set us free. And now it's what? Take two tests a week to set us free? Get the feck away. Even the dumbest mainstream media zombie followers will look at that and say, Oh, I've heard that before. This is not making sense anymore. I mean, come on. I mean, look at the pic- I mean, look at the picture in the corner. What a contrast. Eamon Holmes' wife wearing a pair of pink bunny ears? Madness. New bid to ease lockdown takes two tests a week. Two tests a week each for everyone. Ice cream for everyone makes it sound like we are lucky. Two free tests for everyone. Get them now before they go. Take a test twice a week as lockdown rules ease. Free weekly tests offered to everyone in England. Bloody hell, it's a bargain. Oh my goodness. So now it's take two tests a week to be free. Okay, look, I told you they were going to say this. I said it back in September. And how did I know? Do I have mystical powers? Am I a secret soothsayer who can bend the fabric of time to my will and see into the future? No, of course I'm not. I just looked at the Operation Moonshot documents on the British Medical Journal. This was back in September. Look, it says here, and this was in September, seven months ago. From December, the plans propose increasing daily capacity to between two and four million. This would involve mass testing of all homes in local areas or whole cities when prevalence rises, blah, 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 blah. The plan then states there would be full rollout in early 2021 to 10 million tests a day to enable people to return and maintain normal life. At this stage, weekly testing would be made available progressively to the whole population to allow people to go to high-risk events by using a digital passport to show they have tested negative for the virus. That was back in September last year. So this has been planned for ages. And yet your media and your government are pretending that this is all just decisions made in the last week. The plan is being rolled out. The passports are being rolled out. The tests will be voluntary at first, but then they will tie that into the passports. And if going by what they are doing now, the jabs and the tests will both be needed in future to access events, your job, the pub, whatever. You know my opinion on this. If you don't want it, you just say no. Simple. I have to say though, the desperation in the headlines, especially that one in the Daily Express, take tests twice a week to set us free. That is just, I mean, I mean, come on. I mean, how many times, how many versions of the do this, do that, and you can be free. How many versions of this are we going to hear? That sounds desperate. And that is literally on the front page of every paper. They are really overdoing it, which is a sign it's not working as well as they want it to be. And looking at the response online this morning, even from the zombies, it's pretty encouraging. So, as always, thanks for listening. Come and subscribe to the tribe at hugotalks.com. We're building a network of people who have common sense. Would you believe it? People who think for themselves, who are not chained to the mainstream media. It's very much needed. The bigger we get, the more power we will have collectively, and the more resources and advice we can share amongst ourselves in this increasingly unstable time. So, yeah, come and subscribe to Hugo Talks, and I'll see you later.